Hey guys, and welcome to episode 4 of the by Live. Good to scrub my latest episode. Might be the season finale at the time of recording, I don't know, but obviously by the title of the video, you guys will know. So if it is, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications and check out the rest of the content on my channel. There's a couple of rebuilds that are up on the channel. Currently, I've done Fiorentina, done Leicester, I've done Marseille, and there's the Man City Crow mode, there's the rest of this Crow mode. And uh, for this game, we're going to try it on the camera angle that I've seen coming down below. I'm going to try it out for this video. And can, as you can see, we're going to play a little bit of a slightly rotated side. We're going to stop Palini on Palacios due to a couple of players being uh, being a bit too tired to play the game. I think it's slightly. Yeah, I'm going to stop wasting time and get into this game. We're going to play the highlights of this one. Let's hope for a win up against RB Leipzig. Okay, so 50 minutes, and we'll get a uh, attack here. I did try a new camera, but it didn't really look good, so I changed it instantly. It was way too zoomed in. Might uh, mess around with camera settings after this game, but Rafael Ryan stops us there on that attack. We'll get a solo run here, which should end up in a goal probably. I believe this is Hudson Adoy on the wall. Hudson Adoy has had a pretty decent. That's Palinio, sorry, because Hudson Adoy isn't playing. But you forgot about Palinio. And Galashi makes a say probably should try to bend it into the far corner there. Obviously, Leipzig earlier in the season dominated us in the very first game we played against them. In Kunku was unstoppable in that game and this is a team that won the Bundesliga last season and they're currently sitting third place one point behind us so a win here would do a lot for our season it'll put us closer to Bayern Munich in first place and uh, get us a bit of gap between us and Leipzig obviously but that ball there wasn't able to find a player but Jonathan Tarr can get to that Palinho Rojek Andalik now has got a long shot last episode and he does another one this one Andalik has got some big goals last episode in the Europa League this is a big goal here to get us the lead up against RB Leipzig with a shot from range it's a very similar effort for, uh, uh, very similar effort if I can get my words out from the one he scored last episode where he sort of hit it from that angle into the far corner we've got a very high line here this is a very very high line why are we playing such high high up Andalik Silva Silver now. Looking like he's going to go it alone. Obviously, when I say that, he passes it. Gets it into Nkunku. A danger man, but taps Sober's length from last time. And puts in a great challenge there. But 38 minutes in. We have another attack we have to defend. Against Leipzig. Obviously, we do have a very big Europa League game. In after one more game in the Bundesliga, we will sim. We have a PSG. We'll get a wonder win over Leipzig, so let's uh, get into our next game and sim that one before we get into the Europa League up against PSG. Before we get to our big game up against PSG in the Europa League, we are going to fix handbag here, we're going to quick sum this game. With the second team, we have to get a win against them because they're towards the bottom end of the table. Get a wonder win with Kevin, get any only goal of the game, let's see that from him. Well, here we are, the quarterfinals of the Europa League, and as you can see, we are facing PSG. We'll see if we, we find out this in the last episode. But look at that team. How were they in the Europa League? And when I went through the Champions League groups last episode, I'm not sure if I was just blind and I didn't see it. But I didn't see them in any of the Champions League groups, so I think they just finished in the Europa League position in the gun on their own somehow with that team. Which is mental, but now we have to face them in the Parc de Plants in the first leg. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this game and hopefully pull off an incredible result and beat them here. With uh, this team we've got to get, obviously we're using our full strength 11, so let's get into this one and hopefully go through to the semi finals of the Europa League. I'm at uh, Diaby now. Yeah, but that's great work from him. So it's PSG back line. It's fairly quick themselves, but Diaby, that's brilliant from Musa Diaby. I didn't expect that to work. When I went around killing Navas, I was so surprised it actually worked out, but Musa Diaby puts this one up here. That's brilliant from the former PSG Youth Academy player, for, if I remember correctly, he used to be a Youth Academy player for PSG. One of the many PSG, one of the many great talents PSG let go of. But here, Mr. Diaby's pace was too much for Gramado. And that touch there gets it around Keller Navas. And he puts the ball in the back of the net and nothing any of the centre backs could do, do about that. Back to the shook, Keller Navas has made a mistake there. Hudson an Adoy now. Hudson an Adoy. Make it 2 0. Hudson an Adoy. And we capitalise on Kellen Navas mistake. And Hudson an Adoy makes it 2 0. And maybe this is why PSG are in the Europa League. 
They make mistakes at the back. Kilo Navas goes to play a pass, and I read it. And the one time it actually lets me do it is against PSG. We should have to see. And Hudson Doy, it's a good finish from him, but maybe Kilo Navas should save it. We'll see here. Yeah, Kelly and Alvarez probably should save that, but we're 2-0 up here, so it's a great, great start to this game. It's a DRB. Patrick Schick now. Go round the keeper. Patrick Schick second attempt. And PSG are just flopping defensively in this game. There's a good block on the line from the defender, but the second attempt fell back to Patrick Schick and he beat Kelly and Alvarez to it in the air. And we're 3-0 up here. This is not how I expected it to go. Mbappe, we've been able to stop him. As you can see, we get round Kilo Navas. So it's a great block from Marquinhos. But Kilo Navas can get to it, and Patrick is it gets an easy header and just puts it in the back of the net. Oh, this is that easy. It's a PSG, though. That's that easy. It's a PSG, though. Aaron Arthur Sanchez gets him a goal, and he didn't deserve. I really didn't deserve a goal, but you can't you can't get close to Mbappe. Mbappe is the one player in this game you can't tackle. Let's see here. We get close to him. He gets the ball away down here. He plays a good pass. And Renato Sanchez. It's good dribbling from him. But Mesley probably should do better. To be honest. Frimpong should do a lot better. But it's now a 3-1. Oh, that is... Kaylon Navas. They need to drop him. That's three times this game. Kaylon Navas has messed up. And uh, they kept doing that tactic from the back, they kept passing it to that same defender and I kept trying to stop it, but this time I read it perfectly and packed it at Sheik, punishes Kaylor Navas and does the Thierry Arnie finish, it's a little bit of flair, it's a little bit of flashiness and we're 4-1 up here against PSG in the part of the plans as well. Here's Mukiele. Mukiele now, possibly the last attack of the game here. Gonna get it into Rashford. We're gonna try to find him up it, but Frimpong. Now Meslier to just hoof it away. Oh, that's great play. Come on, Kevin. Kevin, make it 5 1. Make it 5 1, Kevin. Oh, what was that finish? What was that finish? Right, final attack of the game. We're gonna take it this corner here. We packed it. Shit. Now, power strike, and that was a powerful strike from Kevin. And we get a 4 1 victory in this game. And well, didn't expect that, but you'd love to see it. Okay, let's go against Freiburg. We're going to sum it for the second team. So, for the next, they got the Europa League after this, which I think we're going to sum anyway because we're 4 1 up. It is PSG, though. And we get a 2 1 loss to Freiburg. Uh, we'll just move on because we are in the top three anyway, so that is where I wanted to finish the season. But we lose to Freiburg 2 1. Okay, for the second leg here, I'm actually going to take a risk and I'm going to quick sim this one because we are 4 1 up. Realistically, we should be going through. So we're going to sim this and hope for the best. I shouldn't really be hoping for the best. We do lose the game, but we get a goal late on to get a 2 1 result against PSG. But we'll go for 5 3 in aggregate. So you'll have to see it. So we're into the semi finals and let's find out who we're going to face in this episode. Before this game up against uh, Frankfurt here, I'm going to quick sim this one and hope for a win with the first team. I feel like we should beat Frankfurt and get a 2-2 draw. Patrick Schick is going two goals, so it's not a bad result. It keeps us in the top three, so we'll take it. So here we are in the DFB uh, semi-finals, a uh, DFB Pekal semi-finals, and just to make sure we make it through to the uh, final, we're going to play the highlights of this one. Let's get into this one with the second team and hopefully make it to the final with the Pokal. Okay, so we get a crossing opportunity here, 10 minutes in. Is that I mean, Adley's going to make a decent run into the centre here. Adley, we're going to whip that in early. Get what? Um, I'm not too sure what just happened. We're not going to get to see a replay. I mean, we're going to take it. We're going to give it to Adley here. Adley, can he put it past a keeper? Never no, can't because the keeper makes a save. I'm not sure why a penalty was given to, be, to begin with, so I guess that's just to say it was saved. St. Graven now. St. Graven here, we're in a good corner here. Daily St. Graven. Whips it in. Can't get anyone in the end of it. 
Now Amiri. Amiri, but it's saved by the keeper. Now we'll get a counter attack here. We've got a ball down the left wing here to Palinio. Palacios plays it and Palinio gets it, but Yoshida, I thought my Southampton defender, stops us there. Now, for the second minute here, we'll get an attack. I'll play that ball. Oh, come on. Surely could have played that ball better. Now, Shark could get an attack 46 minutes in here. First minute of uh, second half. And Mitchell Lavaca. Is that the only one back here? Now Larson is running in, but Mitchell Abaka deals with him. Love to see that from him. Now 62nd minute here, we get a crossing opportunity. Let's hope we can get a decent attack from this. It's that to uh, Kevin. Kevin now. Kevin, can he get away from the defender? Yes, he can. Kevin lines up the strike, but Klau blocks it. And we get a solo run here, 64th minute. Not too sure Adley's doing with the ball here. Okay, stopped it dead. Okay, oh, that's great. That is great. Palinio. Palinio to make it 1 0. Palinio. Played through by Mean Adley. Makes it 1 0. And opens the score in here, 63rd minute. It's a great, great bit of play from Adley, you got to say. The fact he stopped the ball, waited for the run, Palinia makes it, and he can find him with a pass. He might have tried to try that type of pass in this game. It hasn't worked out, and luckily it worked out for his lay. But we'll get a... But like a okay, have an attack here that we have to try and stop. I mean, had it on the ball now. Harrit plays it into Larson. Larson now, holds off for a Mensa, but we we'll deal with him there just about. Enough to stop the attack anyway. But they get another attack case, 72nd minute. Had it, I believe he's going to be on the ball. Yes, he is. But Nadia Mameri has come back and dealt with him. And we get a 1 0 win in the Pokal. And we're through to the final. If our next point of the season game, we're going to send this one up against Wolfsburg, who are down in fifth place. So they are a decent team, but our next game is in the Europa League, the year semi final. So that's who we want to get into that one in this episode. So we're going to send this one here. We get a 1 0 win courtesy of a Jonathan Targol in the 40 second minute. Okay, so in the uh, Europa League semi finals, we're going to be taking on Frank Fenn. As you can see, Kevin is going to be starting on the right wing because uh, Moussa Gabby picked up a suspension, so he can't play this game. And on the bench, we're going to have a Youth Academy player. It's going to be an interesting chance for him, see if he gets a chance in this game. Let's get into this one up against Frankfurt. I'm going to work this one in here. And there's the delivery. Not towards anyone that could really win the header. Now, Kevin, what a strike! What a strike from the young man. The power strike from the edge of the box. Puts us ahead here. You see, it forced him, he takes a touch and just hits it on a half volley and just lifts it up and into the back of the net. That's a fantastic strike from Kevin. He's coming in, replacing Moussa Diaby and shows that he can do the job in the first team. Love that from him. Oh, Shek. Through to Shik. And Shik powers it into the top corner. He's been given the captain's armband because I had to take off Jonathan Tarr due to his injury. And hopefully he's completely fine because this took him up pretty it, pretty quickly after he got injured. Really that was great work from Patrick Schick. It's a ball played in there and he just blasts it. He just puts it into the top corner. And Patrick Schick is proving to me why I didn't sell him. Love to see that from him. Hoshek. Hoshek. Over to Kevin. Kevin. That is, that is class. That is incredible. He scored two fantastic goals this, this game. That long shot, with the, well, that uh, long shot from the edge of the box with a power strike. And that was a little bit of arrogance there from me to try and chip that. I thought it was offside to be fair when I, when I took the shot. But that is a fantastic finish from Kevin. And he's stepped into his, his team and it's like we've not missed Moussa Diaby at all. He scored two goals in the Europa League semi-final. He would have well there to deny the passes, but Kudos makes the run to himself. And Mohamed, uh, no, it's Lario, gets him a goal here. I mean, it should just be a consolation goal, so we're not going to have it be shown. Mohamed Kudos has been taken off, though. Here we block. Nico Gonzalez gets a block on the free kick, though. Kevin gets it down to Schick. Back to the Schick, and that's a 3 1 victory in the first leg up against uh, Eintracht Frankfurt.
Give me some rather bad uh, news here. Jonathan Tarr's injury is a sprained knee and he's going to be out for four weeks. So he's not going to make it for the end of the season. And he's not going to have the trophy if we do win the Europa League, which is rather unfortunate. But we do have Kasuni, we've got Stephen McCall, died there back from his alone. And yeah, it's rather unfortunate that he's out for a month, but it is where it is. He's got to roll with the punches. We're going to send this game with a second game up against Domstadt. As you can see, uh, Dardai is back from his alone. This is a 76 rated or uh, 76 overall centre back, sorry. Is that a productive win over at for the Real? And his first game up, we get a 3 2 win with Kevin, Adley, and Paddy Neal getting goals. Let's see it. Okay, for the second game, we're going to quick sim this one, which is a little bit of a risk, obviously, but I feel like it's a game that we are going to win. A 3 1 ups, so it's going to take a monumental loss for us to lose, and we get a 2 1 victory. Jabian hosting the door, he gets two goals, so we get a 5 2 win, like we get a 3 2 Europa League final. So we'll find, we'll find out who we're going to face in the final in this episode, and we're going to play the final as well. And before we get to Europa League final, we actually have a very big game here up against Bayern Munich. And as you can see, we somehow got to the point in the season where we could win a Bundesliga title in this game up against Bayern Munich. If we win this game, we'll put us in the driver's seat. Obviously, as you can see, RB Leipzig are also in the running for the title. It's a free horse race was the end of the season. Let's get into this one up against Bayern Munich. We're going to have one with our first team in this one. And obviously without Jonathan Tarlow, but uh, we're going to get into this one, I'm going to play the highlights, not the highlights, we're going to play the full game, and I'm only going to show the highlights, obviously, Bayern Munich earlier in the season did dominate us, did humiliate us, let's hope they don't do the same in our home stadium, let's get into this one. With Frimpong, can you deny Sadio Mane here? No, we can't, and we can kind of stop them here, but what is, what is Mesley doing? What is that movement from Meslier? I did not tell him to move. He just decided, you know, I'm going to wander well, off, the, the, off the line. The like, the why is he running? Like, why is that, what's that movement there? Okay, Musa Diaby. Musa Diaby, get on the end of that. Musa Diaby, that's great work. Musa Diaby. Thank you, Musa Diaby. We should have won this game a long time ago. We had so many close chances. Especially, I'm not sure how many are going to show in this game, in this uh, recording, because obviously I need to save clips. But Azuma gets caught and bodied by Musa Diaby, who smashes it past Manuel Neuer. Love that from the Frenchman. To make it, to put us 1 1 here. What was it in? Patrick Schick. Force the top sober. So we've got another injury. Kevin, oh, that would have been nice. That would have been a nice chance, though. Okay, one minute left. Can we get the ball? Yes, we can. Let's play it back. Can we get a 1-1 draw against uh, Bayern Munich? So as you can see by the standings, in the final game of the Bundesliga season, it's all to play for. And we're going to be facing Hanover in our final game. And we're going to play the highlights of that one, so let's get into this one. We're going to play the full. We're going to play the uh, best eleven we can do. Obviously, without Jonathan Tarr, and Dalic will be the captain, and we'll lift the trophy if we are deemed uh, champions in Europe after this game. Let's get into the highlights and find out if we can win the Bundesliga title in season two. Okay, so 20 minutes in, we get a free kick. And one thing I should tell you about Hanover is they are a rock bottom of the Bundesliga table. They are guaranteed to be going down. So this should be a fairly easy victory for us. I probably should have put us in our home kit, but I kind of didn't realize they would play. I kind of didn't realize the kits, but we'll lose the ball there. Wasn't really the most uh, profitable attack there. Okay, play that through to Schick. Patrick Schick to make it 1-0. Patrick Schick, that's a great save from their keeper. And uh, Hanover get an attack here, 43rd minute. Obviously we won't know a result of the Bundesliga table considering we're all on the same points we will have games that we should win it's going to come down to I think it's goal difference in the Bundesliga can we get a penalty kick here we're going to take obviously the best of penalties and just smash it I think we're going to take it with Patrick Schick we're going to take it with Patrick Schick here Patrick Schick to put his wonder up Patrick Schick could have just won as a Bundesliga title a man who possibly could have left the team earlier in the season but I decided to keep him I also saw in the comments below that you guys wanted me to keep him so I will do in season 3 we'll keep him in the team because he has he, he's a very good striker it's sort of proven why it's proven what I wanted from him in the rest of the season 
ever since I took him off the transfer list. Okay, apparently we're going to be denied the title. Ah, uh, don't be offside. Ah, that, that would have been a nice goal. Okay, 72nd so minute here. What are our options? We do have Hudson Odoi on the left hand side. It's going to go to Schick, and somehow Schick loses the ball there. Not sure what just happened there, but we get a run here. 78th minute. Do we have anything going on in the centre of the box? Yeah, Patrick Schick going into the centre. Patrick Schick to make it two. Patrick Schick does. Patrick Schick puts us 2 0 up there. Could be in vain. But even if we don't win the Bundesliga title, we are guaranteed Champions League football and we're pushed the other teams to the limit. That's a big statement going into season three. That we're, we're saying we're here and we're here to win the Bundesliga. So the final possible attack of the game here. So Mala, he gets it into Fotti. And Fotti's denied by Mitchell Abaka, who's been brought on. And that's the end of the game. Are we Bundesliga champions? It doesn't look like it. No, we're not. Unfortunately, we're not Bundesliga champions. But as I mentioned, we've pushed the other teams to the, the limit. And that's what I could ask for. And just to show you the result at the final end of the Bundesliga table, we're finishing third place. So Leipzig go back to back in terms of winning the champion, winning the uh, competition, sorry. They won it last season, they won it this season. But as I mentioned, we had a very good campaign. We kind of were mediocre towards the start of the season. We, had, we were down in like 7th and 6th for a fair number at one point. But we kind of brought it back towards the end. As you can see, we didn't score as many goals as many other teams in, a, in the top 5. We were actually the lowest scoring team in the top 5. Which ain't good, but uh, we actually had the best defence in the top 5. So, that's one thing we can take away from the season. That we pushed Leipzig and Bayern Munich to the end, uh, at the very end. All the way to the end of the season to for them, one of them to win the title. Yeah, you know, it's getting to the Pokal final and the Europa League final. I hope we can win two trophies this season. Okay, so here we are, the DP Pokal final against Bayern Munich. We obviously uh, lost to early on the season, and in this episode we drew against them. Let's hope for a better result up against uh, Bayern Munich and we'll hopefully win the Pokal. Let's get into this one and see what we can do in this game. Play it into Hudson Odoi here. Hudson Odoi gets it back to Patrick Schick, who shoots, but it's saved by Neuer. And the other now. Okay, I'm not liking this attack. I'm not liking the vibes of this attack that Bayern Munich are on, are on now. This is why I don't like the vibes, because, okay, it's any other. Wasn't the best idea from him. Now Nico, and that pass was on there, just didn't realise it was on as much as it was. But Nico Gonzalez, and it's just over the bar. Okay, Nico Gonzalez. Nico Gonzalez, but Manuel Neuer is incredible. Andrich now. Diaby. Diaby! What a strike from the young Frenchman. Possibly the Pokal winning goal there. What a finish from the lad. He got he got the goal in the in the Bundesliga game to level it up against us later on. You can see he takes the touch and just smashes it into the top corner. What a strike. I hope we could see it from the angle from behind him. But that's a fantastic strike from Musa Diaby to give us a lead in the Pokal. Sadio Mane now. Sadio Mane. Oh, Mazarier. What a save from the Frenchman. Leroy Sun has been brought on now for uh, Ryan Gravenberg. But Nikon Gonzalez gets the ball away there. But Mazarawi gets the ball on the edge of the box. Not the edge of the box, but. Okay, let's go. That should be yours from Pong. There we go. He gets the ball off him. Come on. Everyone just defend. Everyone. Defenders, if you last, depend on it. That's super Meslier. Get that clear. And we've done it, we've won the Pokal. Jarby's great uh, long shot from the edge of the box. And that great defending and goalkeeping at the very end. It was a very tense game. I feel like we deserved it in the end though. We deserved it. 
we've had a fantastic season and at least at the end of the season we'll have one trophy to, to show for it if we don't win the Europa League which will be our next game but what a fun uh, season finale we've had here we almost won the Bundesliga we've won the Pokal and we've got a Europa League final to come you can see Andrich will lift the trophy Jonathan Tarr I'm not sure if he's going to be back for the Europa League final but he will be in the team in, on the bench if he isn't he deserves to be in the team photo he's had a fantastic season himself and this man has stepped up with the absence of Demabai with the um, addition of Nico Gonzalez he needs to do more defending and he's proven he can't do more than just defending going forward he's got some big goals for us and this team has been absolutely incredible and I can't wait for what it's for the Europa League final and what we're going to do in season three because we're surely just going to get better in season three but Andalic there's the iconic Pokal trophy and yeah it's a it's a great win here we're just going to bask in the celebrations with the fans I need to have a look at the last time Leverkusen won this competition because I feel like it's a long time ago that Leverkusen won the Pokal but we've won it here in season two and you can see where it means to everyone in this team because here we are the Europa League final against the Rabatis and I'm actually kind of scared playing against this Rabatis side because they beat uh, Ghent in the semi-final 6-0 on aggregate and they won 3 in the first leg and they won 3 in the second one so they've got a very good team here as you can see they've got uh, William Jose they've got Juami they've got uh, Canales they've got Nabil Fakir in the camera goal it's Xhaka and uh, I believe that's Daniel Pereira the guy uh, Danilo Pereira sorry the guy that's uh, from PSG they've got Sabali Luis Felipe and Gabriel two Brazilians I think Luis Felipe is now Italian so they've got Gabriel as well in uh, the centre back position we've got Juan Miranda the talented left back and they got a uh, silver in there so they've got a very good team but let's not waste any time let's get into this one I think it's celebrities but first of all I'm going to put them in their home kit it's just I feel like it's much more realistic than being in their home kit let's get into this one up against uh, up against celebrities and hopefully win the Europa League get that into Nico and Gonzalez Nico and Gonzalez can set himself Nico and it's just wide That's sober. Most of the defenders are going to go down to you, lad. Sabali. This was just what's on the door there. And Capier. Capier. Apparently, Canales can go round him there. Canales. Meslier. It's not going to be that easy for you. Kind of side of foot on the door a little bit in this game. But Holshek. Hoshek and again it's just wide of the post oh no it's a great ball through Canales Canales and Nabil Fekir puts him one little up it's so undeserved they're so undeserved, you're probably not seeing, you're not seeing much from Rabatis in this game because they haven't done much. Every time I, they've come forward, I manage to stop them so easily. But somehow here, we can't stop Nabil the Fakir. No one goes over to him. And yeah, Meslier, it's poor positioning from him. Kikasunu, love that from you. Patrick Schick now, this is a goal, Patrick Schick, that's a goal, Patrick Schick, that is a goal, Schick does not miss from those positions, he has done, so it's a lie, but it's also not a lie, because he scored from this one, I know it didn't make any sense, but let's run with it, in those positions, I'm so confident with Patrick Schick's finishing capabilities, there's a shot into the far corner, he's so clinical from those positions, and he does it again for us to level it up here, and again, we should be winning comfortably, but it's a way to it's a way to cookie crumbles. And Capier need Kevin to just come forward here. There we go. It's 
bro, I think Kevin. Kevin now, can I hit that? Kevin, there we go. I'm not sure what the defender was there. I just waited for the shot to be like perfectly open in the center of the goal. And Kevin just shook his great dribbling capabilities. No one came close to him. Got, uh, no one really did anything good no, to just stop him. You see, whoever that defender is there, number three, I think it's Gabriel, should be coming to block him. If Gabriel steps up there, I'm not scoring. But he didn't, so we score and we go 2-1 up. And Mr. Diaby, it's great work from him. Diaby whips it in. Kevin, can he win the header? Yes, he does. Kevin gets himself a second. This guy is something special. The youngster from Freiburg. Ever since I brought him in, I just knew he was something. He's only 77 rated as well. He should be higher rated than that. He plays like an 80 plus rated player. It's a great cross from Musa Diaby over to him and it's a great header from him into the far corner, past Rui Silva. Oh, please be onside, please be onside lad. To get his hat trick. Oh Kevin, that is just rude. That is just rude. That is... That is just rude. That's disrespectful. Remember the name. This is something that you pull off an ultimate team just to rub salt in the wound, but to do it in Kremid is something else. On ultimate as well, where the sliders turn up so that the AI are much better. Competitor mode, plate based difficulty also turned on. And I'm going to keep this playing through here so you can see the timestamps of his goals. You can see how fast he scored a hat trick. Is it going to show us, uh, as you can see, yeah, 96, 99, and 105th minute. In a half of extra time, in 15 minutes, he's got a hat trick. Okay, so here we go. I need to defend this. And if we defend this, I mean, even if we score here, we are champions of the Europa League. Two trophies, third in the Bundesliga. Technically joint first if you got a point, but obviously due to the goal difference, we're not. And there's one man that's through to. Obviously, Patrick Schick did score. But man like Kevin came on and in 15 minutes just took the game out of their hands. That man right there, number 20, remember the name. Hopefully, next season he goes up in overall much more because he deserves it. He could honestly be a first team player if he wanted to. If he needed him to be, I mean. He came into the semi-finals, obviously we didn't have Diaby up against Frankfurt for the first leg. And he scored and he scored twice in that game as well. He's got a hat trick in a Europa League final. In 15 minutes, I never keep saying it, but in 15 minutes he scored a hat trick. That is just unreal. And Andrić. He lifted the Pokal, he lifts the Europa League. Jonathan Tars and that crowd there. Obviously, Kasuna was a bit of an injury, but he played through it that whole game, which is unbelievable from him. I'm just hoping that didn't exasperate the injury too much and is, is usable next season. But what a team we've created here. This team is just going to get better and better throughout this career mode. You can see so many young players on that team. Obviously, we have some experience with the likes of Jonathan Tarr. We have uh, Andrić in that team. And Patrick Schick. And the experienced players get us through most of the time. But the young players just keep surprising me about how good they are. We're going to go into the player stats after this. Show you how well this team performed individually. But take that in. Take that sight in right there. In terms of most goals scored, we didn't have uh, very many individual performances going absolutely insane this season. Patrick Schick, 17 and 4 and 35 games, had Musa Dalby 13 and 8. But this man, look at him, 11 and 1. Adley did look well for himself, 8 and 2. Adam Horshek, 7 and 8. Actually, it was very split in terms of goals this season. And Wagner out on loan went to an 82. Okay, Wagner next season. Do we saw Adley? They're both 82 rated, but do we give Wagner the homegrown talent the chance to be our first uh, uh, backup striker? What do we do with that? That's a question for you guys to let me know. 
next season. Palimi or 5 and 3, not bad from him. Andalich 5 and 5 from CDM. Emery 4 and 7, Jonathan Tarr. Dickens Dollars, expect a little bit more from him, only 2 and 4, but next season I think he'll come good. He's gone up plus 4 this season. That's absolutely unreal for him. But yeah, what a team we've developed here. And um, I'm just going to show you players. We've got, um, we've got a bunch of youth academy players that have learned out throughout this whole thing. Then you see Becker here, CDM. We've got uh, Lang here, a centre back. We've got Hartman, a left winger. We've got a bunch of wingers and full backs. It's a hacker went up plus right Newcastle on the so it's good from him. Wagner, obviously, we saw his growth plus nine this season. We have Moser here, the Austrian. We have Egger. We got uh, Schaefer going up on loan at uh, Fiorentina. But Dragovic going up quite a uh, good amount of him. And uh, Fafana and Schaefer as well have set the mirror and Ika Bravo. Hopefully, these guys come back next season and have a decent overall. So we're going to sell a bunch of players there next season, as you can see. We have quite a bloated squad. We've got uh, 46 players in our team. As you can see, backers out for four days, so it's uh, going to be worth it at the start of next season. But before we get into next season, I'm probably going to go through this team and uh, just give players new contracts that deserve them and like need them as well. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do that very quickly. Just going to give some new contracts and then I'll uh, show you the. Uh, in fact, I'll do the outro here. Did the outro first. Now I'll do the contracts after that. For the outro, we're going to show obviously the. the um, I'm going to go for the standings so you can see what we've achieved this season. As you can see, obviously we finished third in the Bundesliga. But I'm going to just show you these in the background. But don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. And well, just get ready for season three. And let me know if there's anything you'd like to see in season three down below. Any signings, any sales you think I could make. Obviously, we're going to be in the Champions League. So I feel like selling a big play isn't going to be worth it, like a DRB, a pack like Schick. So I feel like we just, we, like it's a season where like, they'll be like, right, we're going to stay. Now we're, in, we're in the Champions League, we almost won the Bundesliga. This team is going places, so I'm going to stay here and show what I can do. So yeah, I don't think we... Um, who won the Champions League? I don't think the final would have been played by now. No, it ain't. So it's Man City or Juventus in the final Champions League. Yeah, hopefully next season we're going to win that Bundesliga title. As you can see, we came so close this season. But I'm going to stop waffling and end the video here. So yeah, like I mentioned, don't forget to drop a like to the channel. Uh, drop a like to the video, sorry. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. And I'll see you guys in Season 3. And I cannot wait. And uh, thank you guys for the support as well in this series. It really means a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.